Again, average and marginals, this concept keep appearing, don't they? Well, um, they do keep appearing in economics and they're actually quite fundamental to economics. Average cost is the cost per unit of production. So it is defined as total cost over total uh, over quantity. Hence, if it costs you know, a firm $10,000 to produce 50 units of goods, then the average cost is $200. So just like the total cost, the average cost can be divided into average fixed cost and average variable cost. And average cost equals the average fixed cost plus average variable cost. Very simple. So the average fixed cost decreases as the output increases because the total fixed cost is constant. So if you take something constant and divide it, divide it by an increasingly larger number, increasingly larger quantity, the AFC or the average fixed cost simply decreases. So because it is being spread over a larger and larger output, the average variable cost again reflects your law of diminishing returns. Why? Because as the average product of your workers increases before diminishing returns set in, the average variable cost decreases. Think about it this way. The average product your workers uh, produce is the number of iPads you can produce given a salary of, let's say, $4,000. So if you can produce 10 iPads, then the cost of one iPad is $400, discounting the other factors, uh, you know, the, the rest of them. So the more products the worker can produce, the less the variable cost, because he can produce more. So the cost of one iPad would be, if you can produce 20 iPads, it would be $200 of the cost of one iPad, because the salary divided by the number of iPads. So hence, once diminishing returns set in, he produces less and the average product decreases, the average variable cost or the AVC increases. Hence the U shape for your AVC. So at first the cost is very high because there's no specialization and so on. And it decreases because of the specialization, the, uh, operating better equipment and so on. And then later on, it increases again because of diminishing returns. But, um, the AC is basically the simple addition of the AVC and the AFC, the average variable cost and the average fixed cost. You realize that the average fixed cost decreases to nearly zero. Nearly, it never touches because a, la a number divided by increasingly large number approximates zero, but never touches it. So with the AFC more and more insignificant, the AVC nearly touches the AC because um, AAC equals to AVC plus AFC, since AFC nearly goes to zero, AVC approximates AFC, but never touches because AFC never becomes zero. So let's move on to marginal costs. Do we talk about marginal fixed costs? Of course not. The fixed cost is a lump sum we pay at the start. So any additional unit incurs zero marginal fixed cost. Think about this. To produce zero units of iPads, you still need to pay for the rental. If you want to produce one unit, you pay for the rental as well. Same rental, no additional fixed costs. Two units of iPad, same fixed costs. So what is the marginal fixed cost? Zero. So does that mean that your fixed cost is zero? No, it doesn't. Um, it just means that the additional fixed cost per unit of production is zero. So when do we talk about marginal costs then? We only care about the variable costs. The shape of the marginal cost follows directly from the law of diminishing returns again. That's why I say it's so important. So as more variable factor, for example, labor is used, um, the extra units of output, uh, extra unit of output cost less than the previous units. Remember this from AC, beyond a certain level, diminishing return sets in, each additional unit of labor brings in less additional products. So the marginal cost increases and marginal cost keeps increasing because additional workers bring in less and less to the extent that it eventually brings in negative additional product. This is why your MC keeps increasing. Your teacher will tell you that the MC always cuts the AC at the bottom point. Why? Now remember the checkpoint we had about average and marginals? So here we go. When the marginal cost, um, the cost of an additional unit is below the average, the average always decreases. When the average is, um, for example, remember the roof. When the average is 20 years old and a 10 year boy walks in, additional 10 years, the average decreases because of the 10 years. When the average is 20 years old and an 11 year old boy comes in, same thing, the average still decreases. When the 12 year old boy comes in, same thing, it still decreases. So even when the marginal age can increase from 10 to 12, the average age still decreases. Same here. So even when the marginal cost increases, um, the, at this portion, 
the average cost can still decrease. Only when the marginal cost is higher than the average cost does the average cost increase as well. So this is another example of the relationship between all averages and marginals. Think about an H example and you will get it.